Hi, Dina Wakely here, and I'm excited to show off the fine line tip applicator. This is a tool that I use constantly. I use it on almost everything, and I know you're gonna love it. What it is are these tips that you're gonna buy separate from your paint tubes. So when you buy your paint, this is what they look like. This is my new metallic color. We'll talk more about that later. But they look like this, and they have this black lid on. And so when you buy the fine line tip, what you're going to do is take the black lid off, and honestly, I just throw it away. I, I don't bother keeping it, I just toss it. But you could save them in a Ziploc if you wanted. And you're gonna screw on the fine line tip. And the fine line tips have been screw threaded to fit only on my tube of paint. So it fits perfectly on there and it replaces that, that black lid that it comes with. And what it does is it turns every tube of paint into a drawing tool, into a pen. And so what you're going to do is you're going to take the lid off and you'll notice that there's a needle at the tip of the, of the apparatus. And in the lid, there's also a needle. So when you put the lid back on, you need to make sure that the needle threads into the needle. And that way you will never get clogging. Okay. Now every now and then, when you go to take the lid off, the apparatus will kind of separate from the bottom because that's just how it's put together. So don't worry about it if that happens. This is what it'll look like when that happens. And you can use the tool just fine. You'll just find it hard to put the lid back on. And so if you ever see this little valve, this little green thing right here, what you need to do is separate the lid from this other plastic piece, put the plastic piece back on, and give it a nice tight... Uh, turn so that it's not as easy to come off and then put your lid back on okay now I've had people ask me how do you clean these and my answer is I don't clean them once they're on a paint tube I'm gonna leave them on there and I won't really won't have any problems with clogging because of the needle um, awesomeness that, that's there so what happens though when you have used the whole tube of paint all the way gone and then you've got the fine line tip on there. Well, you certainly don't want to throw away that fine line tip. So what I would do is if this black tube of paint were empty, I would take this fine line tip off and just simply screw it on another tube of paint. And then you don't even have to screw it on the same color. I could screw it onto penny, copper, and then it's kind of like changing the color of frosting in a pastry bag. So you're gonna squeeze out, and it will first squeeze out black because that's the paint that's inside the tip, and then it will squeeze out black and penny, and then it will squeeze out penny. So you are you should be fine without needing to take it apart and wash it because those parts inside that tip are really fine, and I don't really enjoy, <laughs> enjoy washing things that much. So just transfer the color and you'll be A-OK. -okay. And you do know too that when you think your paint is gone out of the tube, that it's not really gone, and that you should always cut the back of the tube off. Let me show you. So for example, this tube of lemon was felt empty, like we were squeezing it, we couldn't get any more out of there. And so what we did is cut the top of the tube right off and you'll open it up pop it open and you'll see so much paint left in there. So what I do is I stick my brush in there, I get a palette knife in there, and if I've opened yellow, I'll paint it on 10 journal pages. You'll be surprised how much paint's left. And that way you can use every little drop of the Dina Wakely Media paint. None of it goes to waste, none of it dries out on you because it's in this tube. So just a little tip there, don't be afraid to cut the, the end of the tube off and then just use it. If you find you're not gonna use all of it, just put it in a Ziploc and you should be fine. So that is kind of the care and feeding of the fine line tip. And people, you know, say, well, do I need one for every paint color? Well, I would say yes. <laughs> um, but what I would recommend maybe starting with is buy several that will uh, fit on your most used colors. Um, I know I have one on white, black, night. I like one on red, and I'll demonstrate that in a little bit because the red looks really great as a little pop of color. And so you know, start with a, a few and then work up to all of them. And then people say, well, how do you get paint out if you don't want to use the tip? It's really simple. So if I think, oh, I need a blob of paint and not paint coming through my tip, I just unscrew the tip, I put a blob of paint, and then I put the tip back on, okay? And so it's just super simple to keep using your paint like you would normally use, but the tip makes it so that you can also draw. Now notice I'm getting black 
in my red and that is because this tip at one point was on my black tube and I recently changed it to the red tip or the red paint. Now what, what I recommend is putting the tip on and then did you see how it kind of spat at me right there? That's because there's air in the needle. So you need to shake the paint down into the needle and make sure there's no air in there and then you do kind of have to show it who's boss and squeeze firmly and then you can draw and make all kinds of little marks. I even write sometimes with it. Hi. <laughs> um, because my paint is heavy body, when it comes out of that tip, it will remain dimensional on my piece. And so there will be a little bit of a drying consideration there for you. Um, it's, gonna, it's not going to dry instantly because it's coming out really thick, but it will dry dimensional. And so it gives you a great puffy look as well because you're getting uh, this great little pop of color and dimension. And I find that this is my last step on my art pieces, so I'll make the whole piece, and then at the end I will go ahead and add, you know, little polka dots and doodling, and I'll show you that next, and it just adds a, a special visual oomph to your work. So I hope you enjoy the fine line tips. I'm so excited they're finally here. They're one of the first things that I wished for when I joined Ranger. I said, please, I want this, and they were they were totally on board. They were happy to 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 make that wish come true for me. Uh, so fine line tip applicator, and I'm going to show you how to use it next. <laughs>